a 398 drive. That's insane. All right, we are here on the first tee, Indian Hills, number one, par four, straight away, 409 yards. Let's let it fly. Do it. Two-man scramble, see how many birdies we can make. Heading a little right, it's in play, down the right side. That'll work. That's a beaut. That one should do just fine. We're playing a two-man scramble. Haven't done one of these in a little while and just kind of want to have some fun, see how many birdies we can make out here. We have 90 yards left, I've got lob wedge, Wind's off the right. Want to knock this close, start with a bird. Pretty tasty there. Hey, we'll take that for a start. Throw one in there a little closer, get a tap in bird. It's hit solid, heading a little left. Mm. A little Yankee over, no good. That might be a little deep. We'll have to putt with yours. So the old partner hit one close, about eight feet. I was trying to hit one closer, got a little trap dry, flew the green. I'll roll it, I feel good about it. Ooh, just caught the edge. Let's go. Get it. Boom. Boom. All right, we're on number two, 380. Mm -hmm. We got one bird in the book, Yep. playing the front nine here. Yep. And I think we keep the same order. You yep. hit the tee shot, I hit the approach. You hit the first putt. Straight away, and you can see the pin off there in the distance. We're gonna be taking it pretty much right at it. Down the right side. Should be pretty good. It's always slightly nerve wracking when the wind's in your face and your ball starts to curve. <laughs> that was blistered, but might have been spinny. All right, we both hit them decent, both a little spinny. Matt did get me by a few yards. We're here on the right center, 115 left. Got pitching wedge. This is as much wind as I've played in a little while, and it's right back into us. There's a whole lot of wind up there, and I did hit that a little higher than I wanted to. I mean, we got a look, but we're on the fringe. Decided to go with nine iron here. Ooh, playing the slope. Oh, ho, ho. I see it there now. I rolled all the way across the green. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you hit a knuckleball. Same exact thing you did. What's one rule in golf and scrambles? Don't leave it short. Number three, par five, 519 yards up the hill. Rocking a Sim 2, as you guys know, Taylor May staff. Get a little of that dirt out of there. Waiting for the new stealth driver to come out. Stealth? Teaser, it's awesome. Uh, You've gotten to hit it? Oh yeah, five miles an hour. I was getting 180 easy, Zach. Really? Ball speed. Yes, it was dope. Golf pro tip for you, end of the wind shots. Tee your ball half inch a little lower. Maybe that'll help you kind of get the launch down under the wind when it comes off the face and avoid the sky ball under the wind and hit a 220 and nothing. That's a little pro tip for you right there. A little pro tip. Ooh, that was nice. What do you need a new driver for? I don't know. Wow, that was blister just running up the left side. Alright, we got a couple looks up there. Mine might be in the left rough though. I was over there in the rough. Matt here in the middle of the fairway. 212 left, par five. Got five iron. Need to flight this low because it is directly back into the swing. This is this is some solid wind out here today. Matt was making fun of my glasses, falling for about the 17th millionth time back there on the tee. But we still got them. These things are like five years old. 
If y'all have any recommendations for new shades, let me know. to the bunker all right we got a couple up there all right here's where mine ended up matt over here in the bunker really not too bad need to land something kind of just off the green maybe just on if you catch a clippy and let's get it up and down for a bird well you got those sprinkler heads kind of in your way yeah so you find gonna, it all the way to the green i'm gonna fly it to the green throw like a medium high trajectory at it Partner, that uh, that helps. Raced it through the break. Hmm. It did the same thing. All right. That's that disappointing. Was, that was not a good hole. So one under through three is not a blazing start. Chili in a wedge is never. There's no excuse for that. Well, I was gonna say we got a short forehead, so and it's downwind, so we got a great chance of driver up and down here 361 yards you can see that tree kind of right there we're going to try to hit it right up and over it oh, right. a little tug -ruski. pulled a little bit heading down the left side it's in play but probably oh. in the rough bleeding Not in too bad a shape right here. This is what we're faced with. And we definitely did not play partner golf there because Matt was over on the other side, both about the same distance, but this angle's a little better. I like ricocheted off of a sewer drain cap and that thing went to the moon. It's somewhere yonder. Well, we have 61 yards left. Luckily we can land it into that little front slope and that should kill it as long as we don't carry it too far. Ooh. Dude, I caught that so crispy. I mean, you still got a good look. Oh, we do. I, I'm, that literally backspun, I think. And I fly that low. That actually <laughs> felt really good. That looked pretty good. I mean, that was juicy. There we go. Got it. Back on track, sir. What were you counting, though? What? You know, blow it up like last time. You're making oh, fun of me. Sorry. 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 We about that. struggle at our knuckle bumps. If you haven't watched last like last five no videos, we're only two under through four and a team scramble. Yeah. We're just not on the same page today. We struggle at vibing. That was a needed birdie for sure. Obviously, walking away from a par five without one's no bueno. Got a good par three. Wins behind ish probably going a little right and uh, we got at 209 here at number five at indian hill so let's uh see what we can do with the par three that's got a six iron in hand hoping to throw a little little mini dart in there it's hit solid just a little right we're going six iron as well Straighter line, just a little right of the pin. It's like right edge of the green. Probably should have played for that wind to push it more right than I did, but we got a putt. We got a sweeping putt at it. This is a uh, lengthy breaking from right to left. There's a little slope right there. So this is, this would be a really good putt if we make it. Yeah, I mean, if I was in a tournament, getting inside two feet is the goal, right? I hammered that. Almost made Go! it. Good putt. Ah! Finish your finish your par because I was of no help other than demoing the line. 
if if you hadn't have gone first though, I would have never hit it that hard. <laughs> that I mean, it basically got there, but <laughs> that was way up the hill. Dude, that I I really thought I hit that hard enough, and I, I believe you. was because I hammered that. This is the sixth hole, double fairway, four thirty four. Okay, good kick. I have no idea. I mean, you're you're. I'm two for two on the glasses catch today. All right, so we got 93 yards left. We are going with Matt's here. Mine was up there. I hit it really well, but it was not a good angle. It was over on the cart path, actually. Yeah, slash. So, I like my wedges. <laughs> we didn't want to be hitting our wedges off the cart path, even though it looks like this one's been hit off the cart path, and it probably has. be enough it was almost enough almost enough. it is just I think in pretty good shape though yeah come back ah, come back right over it that's a good swing between us is the hole oh stay up Boy, and that trundled out. I sat there and watched yours break 14 feet. So, all right, we're in with another par. The, the fireworks can't be stopped today. So, we're switching up the order off you the tee. Think two under through five. Not what you're hoping for, but. Like we discussed back there on 4T, you know, we're not vibing today for whatever reason. Dude, so. we wouldn't win the hacker scramble on Sunday. <laughs> no. This is seven. So I've got a nine iron. This is Matt's favorite hole. If you've watched any other videos, Matt, at least you're on a scramble team here. I can't so lose. You cannot. <laughs> Oh no. Well, at least one of them's dry. I thought when it wasn't match play, I was like, here's your time to shine. <laughs> I can't help but kind of laugh. I can't even get <laughs> mad at this point. I'm, there's nothing about this hole that's even intimidating. I just suck. So there's where it landed right there. Hop back a little bit. And we are gonna be hanging on the edge. You didn't hit it any better. Like I mean, a foot closer. It was better. A foot closer. It was better. Although I did think that thing was going to break a little bit and it, it didn't budge. Oh, at after all. mine didn't budge at all? You didn't learn anything? <laughs> so, another par. Number eight, par five, 542. Pretty straight away. Hold it right there. Stop it. Now, land saw. I think you're good. Yeah. I mean, that was flirting. Yeah, it was a little more heel cut than I planned. Hype. So good. I get the thumbs up. We finally did something coordinated. I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever played and two people hit this actual fairway. <laughs> I mean, if you're not looking at it like this way, what would you say, 18 yards wide? Usually we're in nine fairway. But you were two for two. Last two times we played this hole, yeah. hit the fairway. Yeah. Super impressive. Thinking about making a run <laughs> if my putter would heat up. This is the drive we were looking for. We created some speed right there. We'll get you a number here in a second. This is the best drive I've ever had on this golf hole. Bro. How far did this one go? Because this hole is straight. We got 144 left. Dude, are That's you serious? That, that is a 398 
drive. That's insane. That's dumb. There was some help and breeze, but it, the hole's flat. I mean, yeah, you shoot it back there. I mean, maybe downhill a yard, <laughs> downwind some. Farthest drive I've ever seen here from the tip. going gap wedge as well. That's there if not past it. Matt hit a good shot there, middle of the green, and thankfully mine stayed on the back edge there. You can see right there the divot Matt tapped down. Got about 15 feet here left for eagle. I've never played a 540 yard par five driver gap wedge. <laughs> that just came off weird. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what? At least we ended the birdie drought. And since you got the same pin the last two times, I got this one. Pin slammer, three under. So at least we birdied a par five. That is correct. We got dog leg right, par four to end it. 390, wind's dead in the face right now. Uh, we're just gonna rip a couple low irons out in the fairway because it makes a hard right at about 280. Ideally, you play a little fade. Nice. 109, windage into quartering right. Uh, got the pitching wedge, gonna try and punch one underneath, see if we can hit one close. Um. God, that just fell out of the sky. Wow. My punch shot game is That was terrible. impressive. That was hit well. That was a good shot. All right, good shot there. Landed up there, spun back a little bit to right here. We've got about 10 feet left. Let's roll the rock. I did not early walk there. I wanted to so bad. Shish kebab. Birdie, birdie, finish. Hope y'all enjoyed. Finish at 400. Go check out Matt's video. Link in the description down below and in the end card. That was a 2,000 yard challenge we took on Xperia Golf. As for me, Matt, Indian Hills. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.